Hey there guys, welcome back to another exciting vlog, yay! This is going to be a driving vlog because I was gonna vlog from home, but um, my mom and her boyfriend decided to both call in sick this weekend when neither of them were sick, so that's always lovely. Um, you'll hear in the background, I made this CD of video game music a little while ago. I actually, oddly enough, made it just for driving. Um, but I sort of also made it just for this vlog because I knew I would be vlogging from my car. Which is, uh, it's always really awkward, especially if you, like, can't see anything. So yeah, like, I, I can't take a lot of time to look at the camera, and I can't actually have it above my dash, uh, or else that violates the distracted driving law. I could get a $250 ticket if I get caught doing this. Uh, so yeah, I don't really want to risk it. Um, especially not in the city. If I was out of the city, I would um, do that. I'm actually driving right by my house right now. Uh, you can't really see anything. I guess I could put uh, my camera like on my dash or something like that, but you probably wouldn't be able to see anything other than my windshield wiper. Um, and still, you'd probably just hear a bunch of wind because my windows are open. It's fucking hot today. Hold on. Oh, okay, sorry about that. There are some kids standing on the corner. I'm actually driving to a place where I can vlog from where it will be relatively private. There's this music store that I go to all the time, and I've actually done quite a few vlogs from the parking lot there because it's usually really quiet. Um, and nobody really drives by there because it's way off in the boonies. It's actually right next to a jail. Uh, there's a big shopping center right next to a jail. It's, it's kind of a thing. But uh, hopefully you guys can hear me and the music. Hopefully it's not all just wind because I am driving with my windows open. As I said, it was fucking hot today. Uh, I think it hit 30 degrees. Um, See, so yeah, me, me uh, my mom, and my boyfriend went down. To me, my mom, and my boyfriend. Me, my mom, and my mom's boyfriend. Thank you went down to um, a little river valley that's, uh, let me make sure this is recording, hold on. Okay, yeah, it is. Um, yeah, so we went down to a little river valley um, called Bowness Park. That's not too far from my house. Um, I dunked my head in the river, here's a picture. It was the best decision I made all day, was pretending to be an aqua ostrich. What the shit fuck. Um, and yeah, that was, that was actually a lot of fun. Uh, usually I don't like hanging out with my mom and her boyfriend because my mom's boyfriend can tend to be a bit of a douche. Um, but that particular time, it was actually pretty good. Um, but yeah, you may notice I got a haircut. I actually managed to get two. The first time I got my haircut, it was so bad, I actually went to a different place and I got them to fix it. And then I went back to the first place and demanded my money back and they gave me my money back because it was just so bad. So yeah, I ended up paying like $25 overall. And yeah, that, that kind of sucked to have to go and get two haircuts in one day, but I mean, it wasn't a big deal. Also that same day, this is another noteworthy thing that happened. I feel like I haven't vlogged in like forever, so I'm going to say all the interesting things that happened in between now and the last vlog. Um, and I probably haven't vlogged in forever because like I've made a lot of vlogs, but I haven't posted any of them. Um, most of my vlogs were just ranting about like, oh, you people are terrible, like whining about your fucking amiibos. They're so easy to find, you find them everywhere. That was just me being like fucking angsty for a couple days. Um, but yeah, um, I, I was hanging out with my friend and uh, she decided that it would be a, a uh, fun, 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 fun idea to go and uh, climb on the roof of her own car because um, a couple weeks ago I stole her car from the gym. Uh, me and her boyfriend took her car uh, just because we're dicks like that. And uh, yeah, that was, it was a lot of fun, but she thought I was gonna take her car again. Uh, so she climbed on the hood of her car and there was a blizzard on the hood of her car, like a Dairy Queen blizzard. And like she freaked out because, okay, good, there's nobody in the parking lot. Like, there's somebody on the far side, but there's nobody in this parking lot. Yeah, it took it took the entire vlog length to drive from here to the music store. Well, sorry, from my house to the music store. That's it. Um, but yeah. Um, what was I saying? God damn it. Uh, there's Dairy Queen Blizzard on the roof of her car, and she wasn't thinking. Uh, so she just knocked it, like, right off of the roof of her car into the car window because I had the car window open because we were blasting bare naked ladies because she hates the bare naked ladies so much it's a little ridiculous um 
Okay, there's one vehicle there. I'm gonna wait until they go away. They're like across the intersection, so they're probably gonna be like, what the fuck is somebody doing sitting in this parking lot? Um, Jesus, drop your fucking camera, why don't you? At least I didn't actually fully drop it. Um, so yeah, you can probably hear the, uh, the Xenoblade, Xenoblade music playing. It's track number two on the CD. Track number one is uh, Streets of White Run. Um, off of uh, Operation 1-Up, that one CD that I keep ranting about in vlogs, about how great it is. Um, but yeah, um, the big point of this vlog is I got a slight tan, which you might be able to tell, you might not. Um, oh shit, my vehicle's still in drive and I can let go of the brakes. <laughs> that was dumb. Um, there we go. Uh, but yeah, I got a slight tan, which is the sign of the apocalypse, um, because I never fucking tan. Like, I just don't tan. But today I spent like probably a good seven or eight hours outside, so yeah. Um, so the other th interesting thing that happened, um, well a couple more interesting things happened. Uh, but the bigger one was that uh, my friends decided it would be a fun idea to call me at 4.30 in the morning from a homeless shelter yesterday um, while they were high on acid asking for a ride. And uh, if they weren't high on acid by choice, I probably would have given them a ride, but they were high on acid by, like, 100% by choice. So I kind of figured, hey, fuck you, no, I'm not picking you up. Because I told them that I couldn't hang out because I had to work early, and then in the morning I'm like, yeah, it, I didn't have to work early, I just didn't want to, like, watch you people do acid, or have you try and pressure me into doing acid. So I just told you that I had to work early. Um, so yeah, that was, that was pretty much it. The other thing interesting that happened is I talked to my, my boss today about uh, possibly getting my work schedule changed. Because if you don't know, uh, my work schedule, which I don't know why you would know this. I don't think I've ever actually said it. Um, I work Monday, Friday. Well, actually, I'm technically supposed to work Wednesday, Friday, and Saturdays. Um, but I work Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. Now, why does this suck? Because I never get two days off in a row. And it always feels like I'm fucking there, and it sucks. Uh, but I talked to my boss today about getting my schedule changed, and he might be able to change it from uh, like so that I'm working Sunday through Wednesday, and that's good for them because Sunday and Tuesday are their busiest days because Tuesday are their sales days, and Sunday is just the busiest day of the week just because it's Sunday um, and everybody has it off. And uh, I get to work four consecutive days, and they get three days off, which I'm totally fine with. That would not be an issue. Plus the fact that I only work like 20, 26 hours a week, I believe it is. Uh, I work five and a half hours times three plus an eight hour shift. So math is hard for some reason. Yeah, that's like uh, 24 hours, 24 and a half hours actually. Um, but yeah, that's not that many hours. Like it's not like it's I'm like dying from how many hours I get. Um, but yeah, they might want me to work until like 11.30, like two days a week, which would kind of suck. Uh, because the ass man, and I don't think I've mentioned this in a vlog. I think I actually did record a vlog about it, but I never mentioned it. But the ass man, the assistant manager. I don't know. I know that from that uh, that cartoon, what was it, 16? I don't, I don't remember what it was called. It was about six 16-year-olds that always hung out in a mall. And I remember one dude got the title of ass man. And he was the assistant manager of a store. Um, but the assistant manager there, um, he likes to be a fucking asshole. And I'm not the only person who thinks this. There are a lot of people that think this. And, um, like, this sounds not as bad as it was. But if you knew the guy, it would sound a lot worse. I asked him, like, hey, does anybody know how to t change the toner in the printer? I paged over the intercom when we were closed. So, like everybody who was working there could hear, and like a bunch of people said no, and then the ass man pipes up over the intercom, he's like, yes, and I'm like, when you get a sec, do you mind showing me, because like, I would like to know, and I need to change the toner, and he responds with, I'm not an engineer, and I figured it out, and like, that pissed me off, because not only is that extremely disrespectful, he's also just like ignoring the fact that I asked him how to do something, and like, he's just like, no, I'm not going to show you. Um, and, like, his ignorance as to what I do in my career does not allow me, him to disrespect me like that. Like, like, because he, I overheard him saying later, like, what? He, like, he builds bridges for a living. And I'm like, that's not even close to what I do. 
because he has no idea what I do apparently based on that. Um, if you could name what a mechanical engineer does, I would be actually kind of impressed because most people do not know. Most people have no idea. Um, but yeah. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, there was another thing that he did, but it wasn't really a big deal. And that was the big thing that I've ranted about in a vlog. And it turned out that it wasn't a big deal because, like, it wasn't him that did it. It was just, like, something that he got a complaint from someone and then, like, he investigated it and showed it to someone and then someone else did it. It was, like, somebody complained that, like, a box in their overstock was tagged incorrectly. And uh, he went up and checked it, and it was, like, one that I did accidentally on, like, my second day. So he, like, brought the thing to uh, the store manager. He's like, yeah, this wasn't anyone on my team. So the store manager, who's my mom's boyfriend, by the way, went and taped it up uh, with a big sign that said, Not the night team, because the ass man is the assistant manager of nights. He runs the night team there. Um, and, yeah, that's... Like, it, it was him that fucking pissed me off, not the ass man. Uh, so yeah, that was, that was like, not a big deal. Um, but yeah, I think, I'm thinking that's actually gonna be it for this vlog. Um, I'm gonna try and stream some more this week. Uh, just because I, I don't know, I kind of feel like getting into, like, a little bit more of streaming. Like, they probably won't be super long streams. I got burned out from streaming, oh, back in February when my parents went to Mexico with my mom and her gentleman caller, as I have gotten in the habit of calling him. I have this long black arm here. Like, I don't know if you can see that at all, but I have one l arm hair that's, like, longer and blacker than the rest. But yeah, um... My mom and her boyfriend went to Mexico a while ago and burned myself out on streaming because I did fucking like seven hour streams like almost every day. It wasn't almost every day, but it was like, it was quite a few times that I did it over the span of two weeks and I burned myself out completely. Um, but yeah, that was, like I think I'm a little bit over that. Um, I'm gonna try and do like a couple hour streams. Um, if you have any games you wanna see me play, let me know. I'll post my Twitch link in the description. And, uh, I hope to see you there. Uh, probably gonna try and stream on Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday and Thursday I should be able to. I don't know my mom and her boyfriend's work schedule this week, so it's kind of hard. I just know that my mom is not working tomorrow, so I can't stream tomorrow. Uh, because I always stream while she's at work. Uh, just so that I don't get disturbed and stuff like that. Because I've had her walk down while I was streaming before, but, um... I think I was talking to someone on Skype, and she's just like, oh, he's just on Skype. Uh, so she just ignored the fact that I was streaming, and I closed my laptop so that she couldn't see that I was streaming. Um, but I couldn't see the chat at the same time. Um, but yeah, it's, I pulled it off, so it didn't really look like I was streaming, but I was. My sister walked in on me LPing uh, a couple weeks back, and now she thinks I'm weird. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it. I know this is probably a bit of a long vlog. Um, well, it's a minute into the fourth song, which is like a minute and 20 seconds long. I'll wait until the song's done, so I have a good stopping point. Oh, that was a lot more abrupt than I thought it would be. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys in the future. Uh, I'll try and vlog a little bit more too, because I, I know I've been kind of crappy. I, I, I am very neglectful for this channel. It takes me forever to check the comments. I do read the comments as they come in, because I get email notifications for them. Um, I just might take forever to respond, or like I might not respond, because I might be like, oh, well that was like a week and a half ago that somebody posted that. I do read all the comments, don't worry. Uh, so if you do post a comment, don't be shocked if you never get a response, but I do read them. Um, I always read all comments on all of my videos, so yeah. Um, anyways, that's gonna be it for this vlog. Thank you guys very much for watching, I'll see you next time. Bye! Also, shoutouts to Long and McQuaid for having an awesome parking lot to vlog from. Bye!